All right, so with uh, Horace Heresy 2.0, I've got a couple questions about creating custom units uh, to make bliss bidding a little bit faster, a little bit easier for you. So this is kind of a demonstration of the business. Uh, this is already presuming you've got Quartermaster and you've got the Horace Heresy 2.0 template set installed and you've got the Legiones, Legiones Astartes uh, faction already downloaded. Um, if you haven't, go grab that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to uh, choose my my uh legionis legion astartes i can't say legiones uh the manes astartes i'm going to create um a duplicate of that uh so for my first trick i'm going to uh choose the faction and in the bottom left corner i'm going to click that little copy button and you'll notice it starts to it just creates a copy the original kind of disappears so that is a known bug with quartermaster if we quit the app and we relaunch it and go back to factions, I'm gonna come down here and there's gonna be our copy. Uh, from here, I'm gonna tap edit, I'm going to rename, and we're going to do uh, our custom legion stuff, custom legion. So that way I know what I'm actually working with and click done when I'm done with that. Now from here, I can start trimming things down. Like, if you are not ever going to run uh, special characters, or if you just don't ever think you're going to play a specific faction, uh, you can go ahead and just start deleting things, right? Because you're, you're never going to actually need them. It'll make searching for units a little bit easier for you if you like to just scroll. Now, if you use the actual search function, that's a different story, but um, it's just kind of a preference on how you operate, right? So you can make decisions on how that works. Same thing applies for like, you know, uh, special units like Galvorback or things like that. If you're never going to play word bearers or salamanders, or if you're never going to use uh, specific types of uh, uh, rights of war or things like that, maybe you'll tweak those. And then uh, once you've kind of like trimmed out what you don't want, uh, and made your life a little bit easier, maybe you want to actually start creating some custom characters and some custom units that are always equipped how you want them. So for that, uh, we're going to use a, a Praetor as an example. I'm going to go down to the Add HQ Unit button, and on that little three uh, dots, I'm going to choose Copy from Existing. Choose my Praetor as my base. And I'm going to go ahead and tap and edit and give it a custom name, since, you know, if I'm always running this character as my representative on the babe on the table, I can do that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe I always run a right of war, uh, so I can go ahead and equip that by default by throwing that little switch. And because uh, you know, I can go ahead and edit like any things, any of these things out that I don't want. Right? If we don't use these things, uh, you can remove them, uh, or if you're always got a specific one you typically run, like the Terror Assault. We click on Edit, we get these little three menu bars, and we can start to drag that up to the top. And we can make this equipped by default, right? Uh, so that it's always, it's always in there, right? At least that's the goal. And then like the cult stuff, if you know, I don't use any of that because I can't, and magic is for losers, and uh, all that kind of fun stuff, and I don't get fun armor, so I can get rid of that. Um, let's say, you know, a disintegrator pistol, I'm always taking that by default, so I can move that to the top. Uh, and maybe I delete, like, the Warblade stuff and Great Swords and Phoenix things and that kind of business, right? And the same thing uh, applies for uh, chain weapons. Let's say I move that grab that move that to the top move that to the top and move to the top uh, so that's always there uh, and always always uh, my 25 points and let's say I always take take uh, the headsman's axe or something then maybe I bump that up to the top and make that equipped by default um, and hopefully that will kick off appropriately and then I come down here I always make it master crafted uh, because I'm not a weirdo or something. Um, and then, like, trophy is a judgment, right? Like, if I already gave my due terror assault for... Uh, I don't need to buy trophies because it gives me fear from the right of war. 
So now I can come up here and say, you know what? I don't want to ever forget that I have fear. Do the correct parentheses. Uh, or any other like things I might want to do. Like I come over here and I say, you know, like the right team uh, or something like that. You know, whatever you end up wanting to do if you end up doing some custom stuff. And um, you're kind of set for him. Uh, similarly, like these uh, tactical squads and things like that, if you always set um, a tactical squad at a specific size, let's say we're going to copy from existing, we're going to scroll, scroll, scroll to find our tactical squad. And these guys are always a constant size of uh, 20, so it's going to be 19 plus the sergeant um, and it's per model or per unit whatever you know if you already if you know a tactical, tactical squad is 300 points gotta keep 300 points or something like that I don't know what it is so just bear with me uh, and it's never taking hex it's never taking magic because you know we don't get it no shrapnel no shrapnel um, all that kind of fun stuff you always know you're going to take a nuncio box uh, you always know you're going to take a scanner or something. I don't know, whatever whatever the, the rules are, um, and you always know you're going to. Well, you can't take it off. Oh, I know if you're at twenty. Uh, and you go into sergeant. You can do the same thing. You know this is going to be be by default. So we can go ahead and pop that up. Uh, anything else you end up wanting to do, um, and you're kind of good. And you come out of your thing back into drafts. And then we go down here to Horus Heresy, the builder list. We add our, you know, instead of choosing the Legion list, we choose our custom list. Then we come down here and we say, I'm looking for Timmy the Terror. Uh, and, you know, he automatically puts our points together. Automatically is giving him a right of war, the artifice armor, the, well, excuse me, the disintegrator pistol and all that stuff. And uh, click things around. For some reason, that should be default. For some reason, it's making it 20 extra or extra points I don't understand I'm doubling everything that's weird eh, there's probably a bug somewhere I gotta look at this is what happens when you do demos on the fly and then for our tactical squad tactical uh, we've got like our 330 point dudes uh, and it's already got you know stuff equipped and all that business so then if we come and we look at our basic list um, you've got all your stuff kind of listed out there the nuncio vox the augury scanner uh all that kind of business uh we already have our the right team dudes and the fear and mastercrafted this that the other thing all that business already associated as appropriate um so i've already you know filled out two of my units without too much effort um it, minus the bugs obviously but uh that'll be a problem for future robin uh anywho that's uh, a quick demo on creating some custom entries for your lists to make your list building a little bit faster uh, so you don't have to constantly come back over here and say like yeah i like this and i want to let's see where is it copy this list and then edit and stuff like that um it makes it a little bit easier in my opinion so uh yeah enjoy go forth and uh burn patera down or something i don't know <laughs>